I've had students before who really struggled with this idea of the chord changes. You know, they'll be playing the A, and then it'll get to the D, and they just, they freeze up. It doesn't work for them. So what I get them to do, I say to them, all right, you're gonna get to the D, I want you to keep strumming. I just want you to move towards the D shape. I don't really care if you hit it at all. I just want you to move in that general direction because we need to break it down to the most simple thing. If you're on an A chord and we're trying to change to the D chord, the first step is to move off the A chord. So if the fact that we're strumming too is really confusing us and taking up too much of our attention and we don't even have enough to find the D at all, let's start small. Let's just simply move while we're strumming. That would look like this. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. Just move in the general direction because then what happens is we can start to refine that movement and get it closer and closer to the D chord as we go.